Today on the channel, we take a trip to Tatooine, beautiful this time of year, for Tusken Raider Mania. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxings and reviews in 2021 and possibly beyond. But today on the channel, we've got Tusken Raider Mania, but for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. So what a fitting video today. I figured, hey, I got three different Tusken Raiders. I'm going to put them all together in one video. Very cool, very army building like, really world building like with these Tusken Raiders, as you guys know. Uh, Tatooine's finest, some might say. They're definitely afraid of my old favorite Obi-Wan Kenobi. We know that. But three different ones in the same way. We've got like kids, we've got wives, we've got animals. There's a lot to unpack with the old Tusken Raiders today on the channel. So let's get it started. Let's start with this one. Which one is it? Oh, it's the Tusken Raider female with the old Tusken child. Oh boy. All kinds of excitement with this one. We know the packaging by now. We got a little glamour shot. That's obviously the child, or at least I hope it is. That's the child, and that's the female. So we've never had these as far as I know in the line before. So it's really cool. You gotta, you know, flesh out your Tusken Raider army out there, and you need the women and children first. You gotta put them in there. So very, very interesting with this one there. All on the back, we got that generic blurb at the top. Then we got the blurb that's specific to these characters. We'll read that. Cross sell. We got Star Wars logo. We've got Empire. What did it say? Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones up top there. So that's interesting. Threw a little curveball. I was thinking New Hope, but I don't remember seeing the women and children in the uh, New Hope. So that's interesting. Warnings. 10 Jedi Master points. Really should be 20. We got two characters here. Give me 20. But eh, beggars can't be choosers. $5.99 at my local toy store, and I probably got like 10% off that. Got to get a deal all day long. See you later. And see you later. Bam, there it goes. Plastic prison time. Hmm. I don't know if you would tell me, hey, who are these? I don't know if I would, could tell you they're Tusken Raiders. Uh, they do look like they're something, but I don't know if Tusken Raiders is what they look like. Pop them out. There it is. See you later up high. There it goes. Oh, we got a mess there. There it is. All right, let me get down to the brass tacks here. Let me check out the female first. So female Tusken Raider, no mask removable, none of that kind of stuff. So we won't be able to see her face, unfortunately. Almost looks Egyptian. Uh, does that, I don't know if that fits right, but that's what first thing I think of is uh, Egypt. We got an Egyptian going on here from the old times. The old times, the old Egyptian pyramids is what I feel like this is. Could almost be that episode of G.I. Joe, if you guys remember that one. But she's got a huge robe, shawl, cape not sure what it is on the back here but the child fits in the back so that's an interesting one carrying the young around they got little legs they like to be carried i've got a six-year-old named emma and she likes to be carried too and i'm like you know you got feet use them but every once in a while she's got to go on the shoulders to be carried for a while uh but very interesting got a typical uh tuscan raider weapon i guess the female version here uh, articulation is extremely limited by this big robe piece that goes over the top. Uh, it really feels like a chess piece, as we always say. It feels like a king or a queen. We're just going to do one of those. That's what it feels like. Uh, not a lot here, but this is one of those great ones. You're building that Tusken Raider shelf. You're building your Tatooine shelf out. You put these in, mix them with your Tusken Raiders, and you're cooking with gas. That's what happens there. We got the child Tusken Raider, and I'm surprised we actually got articulation with this. So the arms move. And that is it. No waste, no nothing else. Just very, very minute, but very cool. Very something different. Uh, you guys know I love my big figures, but I also love the little figures. The little figures got a special place in my heart. And then he fits right in the back like a glove. He gets carried around almost like a chimpanzee looking out the side. Like, what's going on here? What's up? What's going on? I can see some of that going on. So a neat figure, a must-have by no means, but really cool to build out some of your Tusken Raiders. I got that Banta we unboxed on the channel a few weeks ago. I got like five different Tusken Raiders. Going to mix these guys into it, get the wife and kids in there. Man, you got a Tusken Raider block party is what you got. So I like this one. It's cool enough for what it is for like five bucks. Can you really complain a whole lot about it? You really can't. But now we turn our attention to this one. Tusken Raider with the Massif. And when I was setting up this video here, my head just hurt. I said, I've seen this Massif before. Did I already unbox this on the channel? I'm totally confused. I don't know what's going on. I, don't, I feel like I've done this before. And then I walked into my other toy room and I said, here's the latest Star Wars I've unboxed. And staring me right in the face 
was a Geonosian and a Massif. So apparently the Geonosians and uh, the Tusken Raiders both love to have Massifs. Uh, apparently they love to have their creature like dog so they both share that love uh, maybe the Genosian, Geonosians and the Tuscan Raiders are friends who knows maybe they breed animals together who knows but it was really messing with my head I said did I already unbox this and that's what it was it was with the Geonosian so we've seen this massive before uh, but we haven't seen this Tuscan Raider so there it is in the pack that's the typical packaging we know beautiful high school glamour shot of this Tuscan Raider here he looks just to die for doing his best Tuscan Raider garb robe cape shawl bathrobe whatever you want to call it just looking only like he could look and then on the back we got the blurb about him we'll talk about that generic blurb you got attack of the clones at the top star wars you got a little uh, product images you got a little cross sell you got some warnings you got 10 jedi master points a lot going on in the packaging for this one see you later right off just like a glove right right off see you later oh yeah no weapons with this tuscan raider which is unfortunate always love a weapon but He's got a lethal weapon, like a young Steve Blackman here on a chain. He's got, see you later, his massive rubber band, gross, disgusting, all over. Oh, we got dental floss all over this guy, so we're going to have to bust that out. Maybe. Oh, my gosh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Oh, gross, disgusting. Just breaking into a million pieces all over the table. Oh, I don't need my teeth cleaned today, thank you. But he does come with, oh, what is this? It's like little wristlets that go to i guess he doesn't just walk it on a leash he ties it to his arm because it's a powerful massive uh but it, we've seen this massive it's identical it's 100 percent the same we saw before uh he does have really articulation in the mouth almost looks like a mix between a lizard a crocodile and i guess a dog uh, he's got four legs but he's got the same kind of harness same type of everything going on here i do like it though uh, i i just think it does work I, I don't remember the scene in the movie where apparently they had these but i guess they did so that i guess makes sense to put them together or they just did a mashup here and said you know let's throw a massive with this bam we got a new figure maybe that's what they're doing this could be the same fake no it's different i was gonna say for all i know this could be the same figure here but it is a Tuscan Raider. He's got his uh, bandolier or whatever you call that with all this stuff he needs there. No weapon, but you can tell he could hold a weapon. So, you know, they released this with weapons in the past. Looks like a Tuscan Raider. Going to blend in with your Tuscan Raiders. Going to take his wife by the hand and grab the family massive. And they're going to go to the mall. They're probably going to get, you know, Aunt Anne's pretzel or something like that. Maybe visit the play place for a little bit. And then, you know, try to get some free samples at Costco across the street. That's usually how my mall visits go. Uh, and that's what we usually do. But there it is. There's the Tuscan Raider family. They're going to stay together. But then you got the wild card. You got Uncle Jimmy, the crazy Tuscan Raider. And he's off to the side here. We're going to get to him next. It's typical packaging. Same packaging we've seen. A little bit more going here. We can recreate the battle with Anakin. He's got his own little stand too, which we always appreciate a stand. He does come with that. So that is pretty awesome. Tatooine Camp Ambush with Anakin. Oh, that was quite the scene in the movie if we all remember back. Uh, there it is. You got the blurbs, of course, the cross sell, the figure, the warnings, the Jedi Master points. It's all there. Everything you could want. Let's see what it says on the back here. Nomadic tribes, people, Tusken Raiders, Scavenge, and Pilfer, the sparsely populated areas of Tatooine. Also known as Sand People, they are a vicious lot, frequently raiding unsuspecting moisture farms. Watch out for those moisture farms in the desert regions. On one of those barbarous raids, Tusken sees the helpless Shimi. Shmi? Shimi? Shmi? I don't know. Uh, Skywalker and imprison her with an isolated encampment warding off previous rescue attempts by local moisture farmers all those moisture farmers uh, the sand people are unprepared for Anakin Skywalker's discovery of their camp and the young Jedi's uncontrollable act of vengeance he took them all out one by one and I just realized I forgot to read the backs on the other ones so you'll have to use your imagination or pause the video see you later happens sometimes you get so excited to get the sand people out of the package to see the massive to see the wife and kids see you later he just can't wait, and that's just what happened to me there. There he is, the plastic prison, looking only like he can look. Interesting stand here. Pull these guys all out. Oh, no. Oh, no. We pulled him out, but look what happened. We've got a head that's missing. A missing head. It popped right off. Are you kidding me? See you later. Hot garbage alert, folks. This guy did not last long. I want my money back, Hasbro. I want my $5 back. I will take it in cash. Don't give me pennies. So we got a headless Tuscan Raider. Great. We got a stand. What good's a stand if you don't got a head? But you know, sometimes you got to make a, when life gives you lemons, you got to make lemonade. So what I think I'm going to do is 
I'm, I'm going to work this. I'm going to get an Anakin figure, and I'm going to put Anakin right next to this guy, and I'm going to have this guy on the stand, I'm going to have the head over here, and I'm going to have the lightsaber up high. It's the only thing you can do at this point, but hot garbage alert. Uh, we've got a headless Tusken Raider breaking the head off right out of the package. Man, if I was like a five-year-old kid, and I was waiting all week, I was good in school, I was good all week long, and my parents said, hey, Kyle, we're going to go buy this toy. You can pick one toy out, and I said, oh, Finally, today's the day. I'm getting my Tuscan Raider. I'm going to get him. It's Friday. We're going to get pizza tonight for dinner. Man, it's all coming up, Kyle. That's what I'd be saying. And then I get home, and I unbox this guy in the back seat of the car, and his head pops off. And your parents are like, oh, well, you'll forget it next time. We'll take it back to Walmart or Target when we go next week. I mean, little Kyle's just devastated. His weekend's ruined. He had a new Tuscan Raider coming into his figure battles. Uh, business was picking up for the weekend. And then this happens. Oh, man, talk about a meltdown. I'd probably turn back and lay on my back in the backseat of the car and start kicking the window like a prisoner to get out of the car, cause, and then I'd duck and roll because I need to go back to Walmart and get my money back or get a new Tuscan Raider. That's probably what would happen. Somebody can fact-check that out there. Maybe my dad would be the only one to fact-check that, but that's probably what young Kyle would do. But Very disappointing, very hot garbage when a figure breaks right out of the package. Can't say we've not seen that in the past. This is probably the fourth or fifth time this has happened over the last year and a half, but man, it's still disappointing, and I bring myself back to young Kyle, how furious he would be if that happened, and I'm furious right now. Give me my $5 back, Hasbro. I'm coming for you. I'm going to fly a plane. I'm going to Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and I'm going to come to the door, and I'm going to knock, and I'm going to say, you guys owe me $5. Here's your Tuscan Raider. That's how dedicated I am to the action figure game out there. But what you know what they say, two out of three ain't bad. So we got two good Tuscan Raiders, one absolute hot garbage Tuscan Raider breaking in the package. Come on, get out of here. What do you think? Did you have these Raiders? Know anything about them? Leave me a note in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And uh, for the hot garbage Tuscan Raider, I'm a defeated Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.